That's a monarch. We saw a cow next to the Is it really? Was it a fuzzy one? Did it feel like it? Did you didn't feel it? Before we eat it, it's supposed to Yeah, they're cute. So this is milkweed. Oh, that's a monarch. Okay, here's the lep traps exhibit. The gargantuan mercury vapor bulb, 500 watts. There's 250 watts down here. Light trap with a handle on it. Light trap regular. All kinds of beautiful 40 watt UV bulbs. AC and DC. That's Left Traps LLC. Oh, not to mention the bait trap. It's a very interesting thing. Put your rotted fruit in the cup in the bottom. Insects go in here. To get the fruit and then they automatically fly up. I'm making a movie. What's in there? This is a trap for insects using bait. You put the uh, like bananas in the bottom, and um, the insects go. Yeah, rotted bananas or fruit, you know. Right. Insects oh, go in there, and then when they're done, they automatically fly up. Of course. And then we have a zipper on the side, and you can collect them. Right. So it saves a lot of work. They can come out from there. It they does could. Not. They could come out, but most of them they go up. That's their automatic you know, reaction instinct. Huh? instinct yeah. Not on this table. They've got a lot of animals <laughs> over here. <laughs> Here's a view of the whole uh, thing. Canopies are very handy in this situation because the sun is beating down. And people that didn't get a canopy are regretting it now. It's a museum in downtown Riverside. <laughs> Here's the mosquito control people and their hoovercraft. This is an actual hoovercraft that goes on land or water. And the reason they have that is so they can get out into the marshland and uh, do their research mosquito control. See it has an apron on the bottom and everything. There's a few more in this one. Yeah, they're a little smaller and Let's do a little walkabout. Right here's BioQuip selling their stuff. So it's your choice, Val. Uh, this one's uh, so it's 8 by 8 and 8 by 10. Yeah, I'm guessing it's 8 by 10. I think I like these. Otter boots. Oh, on here. the get a $27 one. There's a print. 27 for these, yeah. It's a really nice one. Those are Major League Entomology. Hmm. Well, you got your own beer glasses too. <laughs> Well, there's a lot more people here than I expected. Oh, wow. I know someone who's looking for live moths. Really? Do you supply live moths? No, we don't. Uh, these were most likely ordered. 
They just happened to hatch out. That's a polyphemus. And that is... That's the local one. Where'd you get it? You'd have to talk to James about that. Oh, He's the one that oh these James guys. running the table? Yeah. Okay. No, we're going to use information. Booth? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. That's fine. That's fine. This one? This is the information booth for the show, did you say? Yeah, I just started it up. I'm one of the organizers, so you probably saw me running around this morning. Oh, right. Here's reptile collecting stuff. Catching snakes. Here's the bucket you put them in, like rattlesnakes and so forth. So he needs probably about a five gallon to two oh. gallon. Because they like to move around. And then you give them, they need dirt because that's how they bolt. Millipedes and more. Well, this looks pretty successful. I really didn't expect this many people, but it turned out well. Typical insect show. Oh, the good stuff here. Hey, Bedros. You guys hey, making a movie Clark. of you. How Say hi. You? Hey, <laughs> wow, you got hey, some Clark. nice stuff here. Very nice. Okay. Wow. Yes, indeed. If you get a chance, come and see these uh, lights, uh, collecting lights I have. I know, I want to come uh, by. I'm way down at the end. I'm going to come by. I've got mercury sure. vapor lamps, I've got 40 watt UV bulbs, I've got light traps, bait trap. Interesting stuff. For sure. It's from, you know, it's from Lira, uh, Lep Trap out in Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. Very high quality. Yeah, yeah. High quality this stuff. That's really good, yeah. yeah. Definitely. All right. Oops. I'm going out here now. Got to get back to the table. <laughs> what are you hunting for this morning? You're going here. Yeah. Dragon carrots. Uh, You're selling the vegetables? Uh, we don't sell them, but uh, yeah, we grow them at the UCR community. Oh. Garden. It's basically. Yeah, we donate them to a lot of that, student organizations. Because I'm starving, I would eat them raw. <laughs> oh yeah. So, so you can always come and volunteer and come fix some them if you want. Just, I, I come and what? You can come, come volunteer and fix them. Oh okay. okay. Yeah, we have our open hours. Okay. Out. okay. Insects as food? Uh, brownies with insects? Oh, I'll pass. But oh, wait a minute. I'm hungry. It has like stuff in the center. How was it, Kenny? Was it good? What's in the brownies? <laughs> What's in the brownies? Uh, they're made with crickets. Crickets? What percentage? Um, so the guy that made these made them with brownie mix and he substituted a third of the mix with the cricket powder. Oh, cricket powder. Yeah, it just ground up crickets. So the purpose is to get protein, uh, uh -huh. cheap protein? Instead of using uh, flour. Oh, oh. So you completely replace the flour, or, or not? I think normally you would, but he had to kind of switch it up because he used the box. To okay, make it. here goes. I'm going to eat a cricket brown. Here we go. You try it. I'm starving, otherwise I probably wouldn't do this, but thank you. You're welcome. They cost you Alright. That's the family fun stuff. You want to do the pies? I don't know. This brownie tastes like licorice. Do they go like this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Train mantis. Cricket crack? I don't understand that one. Mom, they're going crazy. Spiders. So is this like all you have out here right now? Um, pretty much. Alright. Making our way back around. Here's Bill, the butterfly guy. Say hi, Bill. Hi, Clark. How's your day going, Dad? Crazy. I'm making a movie now. You're feeding your face. This is a cricket brownie made from cricket powder. How does it taste? It's like licorice. Oh, I like licorice. I like to well, get me some crickets. Uh, if I wasn't starving, I, I don't, don't normally eat insects, but, you know, it's the only food I could get right now. All right, I'm going back. Hey Bob, did you see my table here? Yeah, I picked up your card. Oh, are you, are you familiar with his stuff, Leroy's no, stuff? No, I'm not. You got a second? I don't have much time, but just a second. Yeah. Now this is manufactured in Kentucky. Uh huh. Uh, so he he uh, had brought them out here. 40 watt UV bulb, uh -huh. 40 watt, and I've got AC or DC, mm -hmm. okay, this is a typical light trap, I'm making a movie well, right I, now. I always need a, a backup for my systems when they fail, my from mercury vapor sale, fails or something, I need yeah. a backup. Have you ever used a light trap? Mm, I have my own light traps that are bigger. Okay, and we got, we still have mercury vapor lamps self-ballasted. Uh -huh. Doesn't need a ballast, it just right. goes on immediately. This is 500 watts. Mm -hmm. And then here is the bait trap. See that? Mm -hmm. You know what to do with that. Right? Yeah. So I'm um, actually. Oh! Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Not breakable. Um, those units are for sale. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get a 40 watt UV bulb, no tax, no shipping. You can buy it right off me. Mm -hmm. That's my spiel, folks.